my channel. I am Farron, your fashion guru, and today we're going to be talking about hidden pant closures and an easy way to make a button extension without the buttonhole. Let's get started! So this is my fashion studio. My name is Farron. I promised you pant closures, but these are not gonna be the normal, obvious pant closures that you see. This is a hidden closure, okay? Usually found on men's pants or any sort of pants with strain, like these. These are my wicked leather pants here, see? This is a hidden button closure. Goes like this. Gives you that extra support. However, you can also have this sort of problem on jeans everyday jeans that you wear. Look at that, what is that? The waistband is a bit too stretchy, so it needs a support. Let's get the trim. Where the heck is the trim? I think my cat took it. Cool, okay. We have our trim, we have our measuring thing, and our clippers. So we're measuring about four inches, okay? I like to have a nice good extension here. And then you fold it, basically making a little slit here. Hi. And then what you're gonna do is, you're going to zigzag the top corner and the bottom, making sure this extension and the hole fits your button. We have to go to the sewing machine. Ha <laughs> ha, yes! Normally I would be using my industrial machine, but because we're gonna be using a zigzag stitch, to put the trim together, I'm using my domestic. Okay, folding your trim in half, so you have like a little loop here. We're gonna be doing a zigzag, a half inch down, basically closing up the slit, okay? Okay, we're using a zigzag with a two stitch length and number five, whatever that is. But every domestic machine is fairly different, so, Forget the backstitch. There we go. Hi, hi, hi. And then from here, we're gonna do another zigzag right at the tip. So you fold those pieces down and you have kind of like an arrowhead. You stitch right in the center there. Really, it has to sit flat. We got our little trim extension. We have our pants. Take your trim and you put it face down. And you're going to be stitching right here along the top stitching edge. And then we're gonna be flipping it this way and we're gonna be top stitching it there again so it's nice and secure. We need a straight stitch. Get rid of the zigzag. Back to straight stitch. I am putting the trim in the center of the waistband. I am just gonna to be top stitching right over the top stitching here. Go in, back stitch, woo There we go. Listen, I'm not used to domestic machines. It's kind of weird for me. Okay, take this, flip it that way and then you're gonna to be top stitching again over top. Basically, you're sandwiching your seam allowance on the inside of the trim. Okay, let's go. Hopefully you have a needle that can go through jean, okay? So you're probably, you're 16 or you're 18, or you're gonna break your needle. There's the button extension. 
right here. This is your inside button. This goes right on the inside. You need to find a button to match. Attach your button with a shank. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my button video. I will tell you how to make a shank with a four hole button. So that being said, mark your, where your button goes and sew on your button. Ta-da! We're done. Look at that. Button, hole, extension, support. It's fantastic. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It would really help the algorithm and it's free. In the next video, we're gonna be showing you how to install eyelets or grommets because those things are kind of trending right now. And I'll show you how to do it. That's it for me today. This is your fashion guru signing off. Um, do you know how easy it is to stand behind a camera? <laughs> no, 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 it's not.